Welcome back. In this video I'm going to look at our same frame here with a different loading condition. And what I found to be helpful is simply to sketch this directly under the same frame. And from our example before, I know that's two and a quarter inches at a quarter inch scale will give me an 18 foot tall frame I have the supports on and with a straight edge I can easily come over and quickly begin sketching to scale again on these because I'm graphically looking at the dry at the diagrams to form some intuition it's going to help me here I'm going to come in here and draw my load on it. On this one, I just want to show a gravity load that is uniform and sketch it in. Sometimes some engineers will just hatch that, some will just draw it. Um, I'm going to just call out a load. And again, the, the width is shown from up above, so I can just see by reference it's 30 feet. I want it to be consistent. I could come over and sketch in my height of structure. And I know that this is a simply a fixed beam it supports because there's continuity here. And so if I wanted to take this in its simplest form and begin looking at the moment diagram, I know it'll be greatest at the supports. I know that in the center of this diagram. If I looked at it from that perspective, I'm going to be looking at the center line of this structure to be approximately there. I'm, and it's symmetrical. That's another one. Remember we assumed same material modulus of elasticity, same moment of, iner of inertia. And I know that then in the middle there, my moment diagram will look something like this. Okay. And I know from consistency, just if I kept those to scale, it's pinned down here, point load, taper off that way. This begins helping me that through superposition I could start to add loads from the lateral and loads from the gravity and begin seeing how these would function together. I think an important aspect of this is a structural engineer needs to be able to quickly sketch these diagrams. Beyond the practicality of it, this is the same kind of information engineers will need when they're taking their fundamentals of engineering exams. Uh, just what the boards are looking for is that structural engineers have a keen understanding of the intuition of moments, shears, and how stress flows through structures to get to ground. That concludes this video. What we'll be looking at from this information is comparing and contrasting it to what we're finding in robot for the structural analysis on the computer. Thank you for your time.